Hello, my name is Captain Kelly Muniz, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Olympic Division in the city of Los Angeles on May 2nd, 2024 at around 11.55 a.m. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Olympic Division patrol officers responded to a radio call of a violent male with mental illness on the 400 block of South Gramercy Place, where a clinician for the Los Angeles County Department of Mental Health was attempting to facilitate treatment when the subject attempted to attack him. Here is the 911 call and corresponding radio broadcast. Hi, hi, hi. This is Verde County PMLT. I have a patient in this. He's very violent, trying to attack me and father. Could you please, police officer, please? What's the address, sir? Let me see. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The address is four. Grammar South, Grammar Place. Is this a clinic? No, it's a client house. Okay. And how old is your client here? Uh, 40. Is she under the influence or suffer from mental illness? Yeah, she has bipolar and schizophrenia. Black, female, black, white, Hispanic, or Asian? He's Korean, Korean American. 40 years old? Yes. Okay, what color shirt and pants is she wearing? She's a uh, uh, black shirt and black pants. And she's becoming violent? Yeah, he, not she, he, yeah, he's very violent. He's trying to attack me. Oh, it's a man. It's a father. It's a man. I'm sorry, yeah, it's guy. It's guy. Okay. What's your name? He's yelling and screaming. My name is... And you're there as a caretaker? No, no, I'm from LA County Patin. Okay. The father called our department on him because he's very violent. So we tried to engage him. He became aggressive, tried to kill me, and kind of stay away. I'm outside the father. Okay, we'll send the police over, okay? Keep your distance from him Thank as you best sir. you can, okay? Thank you so much, okay? You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Hey, was smart. Private male with mental illness, Fort South Gramercy, Fort South Gramercy, inside location with the LA County pet team. Subject is client male, Asian, 40 years, wearing black shirt and pants, becoming aggressive towards these pet team members. It's code three, incident 1765 RD 2022. That subject was later identified as Young Yang. When the officers arrived at the location of the radio call, they met with the clinician and Yang's father. According to the clinician, this incident began the night before when Yang came over to his parents' house. At some point in the evening, Yang began to yell and talk to himself. Behaving erratically, he then forced his parents out of the apartment, causing them to sleep in their vehicle. 
Early the next morning, Yang's mother returned to the apartment where, again, Yang, still behaving erratically, forced her out. Yang's father then called the Los Angeles County Psychiatric Mobile Response Team, also known as PMRT. As a result of this call, the PMRT clinician responded and attempted to speak with Yang inside of the apartment. Yang attempted to strike the clinician and a physical altercation occurred between Yang and his father. The clinician then called police. After gathering this information, the officers knocked on the door of the apartment and attempted to speak to Yang. Yang was uncooperative, refusing to leave the apartment or even open the door. Officers went back out to the front of the apartment where they requested and waited for additional officers and a supervisor to respond. Once the supervisor was at scene, she attempted to speak with Yang and have him come out of the apartment, but he remained uncooperative. With the keys to the apartment in hand, the supervisor and officers formed a plan to open the door and take Yang into custody. When the officers opened the door, they observed Yang standing in the living room with a large kitchen knife in his left hand. Officers gave Yang commands to drop the knife. However, he did not comply with the officers' commands and instead continued advancing towards them, resulting in an officer-involved shooting. Yang was struck by gunfire, dropped the knife, and was subsequently taken into custody. Immediately following the officer-involved shooting, the officers requested a rescue ambulance. While waiting for the rescue ambulance, officers attempted to render aid by putting Yang in a recovery position and applying pressure to the gunshot wounds he sustained until paramedics arrived. A portion of this incident was captured on the responding officer's body-worn video. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here is body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident. Hey, sir, how are you doing? Okay, so are you here to place a hold on him? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Is he in there by himself? Yeah, by himself. Okay. Is there any weapons in the house? No, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Does he speak English? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So you already have the ambulance in route? Yeah. Okay. Did they give you an ETA or? Uh, where's your uh, apartment? In the back? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and uh, do you have the keys with you? Yeah, yeah. Just in case you lock the door? Okay. It's a lot. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have you wait out here, and then our partner and I will go in there. What's his name? Young. Young? Last name is Yang, but the first name is Yang. Oh, first name is Yang. Okay, Yang, Yang, Yang. Yang, because same as like Sun, Yang, 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 Yang. Okay. So, last name is Yang. Yang. Right. Yang. So he's only becoming violent with you guys. He didn't make any threats to harm himself, correct? Uh, he said if you come in. If you come in. He, he's like, he thinks he's a god or devil or something. Okay. So if you come in, then I'll, you will be out of this world. Like so okay. That's All right. But didn't specifically said he was going to do something to you, right? Or to anybody that came in the. Okay. Yeah. Somehow. All right. Good, All right. You want to let us give the remote, or oh, is this open here?
What's he wearing right now? Do you know? Is it upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs? Okay. Alright, yeah, just hang out here. Alright. What key is it? The red one? This is the one. The orange one. Okay. Uh, this is uh, a deadbolt if there is a... Okay. Is, uh, so these two. Right. Okay. Yeah, just wait out here. Department. Yes. Can I have you open the door, Mr. Young? No, actually not. Not unless you have a good reason. Okay, well. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. You will not enter here. Mr. Yang. No, I do not, do not invite you. I understand you didn't invite us. Yeah. Okay, but there's people here that are concerned about what's going on with you. Additional unit? Uh, I mean, so far it's coming, but it's gonna be a. It's, uh, we're not, I don't think we're going in. Mm -hmm. This is anybody that comes in, I'm gonna kill him. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna go in. Let me get an additional unit. Split. I thought. 28, 25, can I get an additional unit? That much? What's your son's name? Young. Young? Young. Y O N G or? Y O N G. Okay. And you have keys to go in, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. We're going to try to ask him to come out. I'm going to try and see if I could talk to him, convince him. Okay. We'll make entry if he still refuses to open the door. But I don't want to force him to go and then he might get hurt because we're going to be involved into use of force with him by us putting pants on him. Do you understand that? If he still refuses to come out, we'll give him a warning, letting him know that you guys don't want him here and you want him arrested for trespassing. That's the other option. If you're okay with signing a private person's arrest for trespassing, then we could take him. But that's going to prevent him from going to a 72-hour hold. Oh, then it becomes a criminal thing. Yes. I need to go for MacArthur Park. So that's the other option. So I'm and gonna I try to do. That you can take him to yes, the I'm gonna try to do my best to try to get him, but I, we can't force him out just to go receive treatment. Am I, are you understanding that? Even though his medical condition, the mental condition. Yes, but he's not can threatening. Threat can can be dangerous to himself and. Us. Yes, but it comes to a point where we can't force them to receive the treatment that they choose not to. We're going to try our best. If we have to, I'm just warning you, if, if something happens, if we put hands on him, if he gets hurt, that's just the outcome that's going to come out of it by us trying to get him out of the house. You understand that? Yeah, I understand. Okay, so I'm going to try to talk to him. I'm not opening the door. Yeah, yeah. I want to open the door until um, the RA gets here. Yeah. So that way we He's just ready put him in. Who's going to put hands on Need oh, me? primary. I'm primary. And who's my last lethal? I'll go Okay, you want to my contact? So right now, let me just try to talk to him, see if I can convince him to open the door. I'm not going to go. Where? <laughs> this one? I have to ask. Right here, up there. Up Up here? Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Young. This is Sergeant Robocalla. Can I talk to you for a brief minute? No, every time I even crack the door in this new place I found myself, they just start barging in. Who's? Yes, I've already been killed multiple times. Okay. Thank God. And it will, I will not be killed even one more time. Okay, Young. So your parents called us. Do you understand that? Oh, you didn't get the one. So they're worried about you. So they just want you to go get checked I, I out. I know that my parents are not worried. So if you do not leave, I will continue just saying the same old thing. Okay, well. Goodbye. You're not, you don't have options. Goodbye. Alright, we're going to have a use of force. Okay, let's... Is he talking to himself or is he on the phone? Is he on the phone? That's says he's going to call himself. He doesn't live here, right? But they let him come in? Yeah, last night they let him come in. Um, they didn't sleep here in the center of the car school. Okay, we have to get him out there. They have nowhere else to go. Alright, let's just wait for the RA. We have a key in Yeah. Wait, you guys got the key for it? Yes. Yeah. Please, Mr. Young, come out. Hey, hey, you're going to get shot. Oh, you're out, you're out, you're out. Hey, 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 drop it, drop it. Drop it. Don't move. Don't move. We're dropped the knife. There you go. Hey, don't reach for your pocket. Don't reach for your pocket. Don't reach for your pocket. Alright, hold on. Hey, this is the police. Mr. Young, come out. Back up, back up, Mr. Young. Turn around, turn around, turn around. He's got a knife, he's got a knife, he's got a knife. Put the knife down. Don't move, don't move, we're dropping the knife. There you go. Put the knife down, put the knife down. Don't reach for your pocket. Don't reach for your pocket. Okay. Hold on, hold it. I'll put it out if anything, so you guys worry about it. Yeah, I call him. Hey, this is the police. Mr. Young, come out. No, Mr. Young. 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 Don't 
So we move up, just yeah. Just, uh, secure the knife. Yeah. Secure the knife. Yeah. I'm gonna see secure the knife. We're gonna go range ready. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I got him. All right. I got him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Are raising up? Yes. Alright, raise her up. Okay, Roger. Let's see where you what is your shot? Okay. He's good. Stop talking to his arm. Roger. You guys can you make sure the rest of the room going out here, please? Okay, chest, 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 stomach, two chest, one stomach. Is there an extra one in the back? Hey, Young, can you hear me? Hey, can you hear me, bud? Hey. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Young. Hey, Anderson's coming. Young. Hey. Okay. Hey, are you up? There you go. There you go. Yeah, breathe. Breathe. Breathe slowly. Yeah. You good? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a cold four right now. Is there any insurance? No. Nothing on the outside? No. No, nothing in the back. What's the name? Yup. Yeah. Okay, Roger. Everybody's good on our end. Roger. Yeah. 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 Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded shortly thereafter and after attempting life-saving efforts pronounced Yang deceased at scene. Investigators recovered an 11-inch kitchen knife at scene and booked it as evidence. Investigators also recovered narcotics at scene and booked it as evidence. Yang Yang was a 40-year-old resident of Los Angeles. In the next several months, the Los Angeles Police Department will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all Los Angeles police officers. If you would like more information on how the LAPD investigates all serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org where you can find the LAPD's use of force policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.